On today's show, we're going to be doing a deep dive into my absolute favorite type of investment, quads. Shin Dog, this is another one of your videos. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. This is your show, folks. This is the show where you and I, we work one on one, we work hand in hand to try to help you buy the most profitable real estate investments you possibly can here in the Cleveland market and beyond. Of course, I am your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, we got my guy, Tommy. He's the one who's putting together all the fancy stuff you guys have come to know and love. In today's show, this is for a guy by the name of Shindog. This is my dude, man. Shindog, you and I, we've been doing a lot of these together. We've been going back and forth. And what you love, you love the same stuff I love, which is the same stuff a lot of other people love. Quads, man. You really, really want a quad. And uh, the last video, the last time you and I worked together, we really tried to get you a quad, man. But we ended up in a freaking brutal, brutal bidding war. Somebody put out a quad in Cleveland, C-Class neighborhood, and they underpriced the hell out of this thing. Probably the best looking deal we've seen uh turns out there ended up being six over 16 offers on that property uh, we had you bid well above list price we still didn't win the bid somebody else won the bid then the property came back on the market it fell out of contract i'm assuming it was probably an investor who put in an offer contingent on inspection and maybe they didn't like the inspection. So it went back on the market. We put in an even higher offer the day we found out it went back on the market and we still lost out on that quad. That's because the inventory here in the Cleveland market for triplexes and quads is very, very low, right? There's not that many of them. The majority of those small multifamily housing stock is duplexes, right? Quads, are selling at a premium because there's so there's so few of them and of course it's the most rent we can possibly get while still utilizing the 30-year loan which is of course the biggest reason I think anybody should invest in real estate that is by far the very best way to leverage your funds because the interest is low the interest is tax deductible and you get 75% of the asset paid for upfront by the bank and your tenants are going to pay off that bank and when you get a quad that means you get the most amount of tenants paying off your mortgage so that's you know they're tough. They're tough to come by. That's why we got outbid. But you've been jonesing, man. You really, really want one. And today I am bringing one to you that I think might just work. But we are going to have to do some work to get it for you. These things are not just sitting idly by, you know, ready to be picked, plucked off the tree, right? It's not like taking candy from a baby. We got to work hard. But this one, this one might just fit the bill. 6900 Colgate Ave, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. It has been listed by a Keller Williams brokerage for $199,900, and it has been sitting on the market for 120 days. Why, if there is such a shortage for quads and we are in bidding wars dealing with 16 plus other offers, why has this bad boy been on the market for 120 plus days? Because it's overpriced. That is too much money. So we got to do some work to try to get this for you. What do you get though? What does this building come with? Let's see what we get first. The first thing, let's go over what the listing agent has said we get. This fully occupied all brick building is the investment property you've been waiting for. There are four spacious units that all have been recently renovated. Each unit features a large living room and dining room, two bedrooms, kitchen and bathroom, 
Other features include separate gas and electric for each apartment, updated electrical, newer vinyl window replacement windows, and all furnaces were installed in 2001. The large basement has plenty of storage for all four units and is equipped with hookups for washers and dryers. There is plenty of off-street parking on the oversized driveway as well as additional street parking. Great location near the Detroit Shoreway, an up-and-coming area. All tenants are in leases. Rents are $495, $550, $495, 5 Tenants pay gas and electric. Owner pays water, sewer, trash. Make this property yours today. So just popping up the chart real quick with the rent roll. Like she said, rents. Five and a quarter, four ninety five, four ninety five, five fifty. We're bringing in two thousand sixty five a month, or twenty four thousand seven hundred eighty dollars a year. What price do I think you need to get this property at? I think you need to get this property at one hundred seventy thousand dollars, thirty G's off of the list price for this to make some sense, right? I think we need to go in and try to get it for that cheap. Will they sell it to you for that price? I don't know, but I did some research. You know, I can never, you know, unless you pay list price, right? I can never tell you if a, buy, if a seller is going to accept your offer or not. But I did a little bit of research. The particular buyer who purchased this, he purchased it last year, 2018. He's out of state as well. Shindog, you're from uh, Jackson, California, I believe. This guy, he's from L.A., right? So a couple West Coast cats. He picked it up for like 171, 172. And uh, that was last year, and now he wants to sell it. It doesn't appear that much has been done to the property since he bought it. A common thing that I see from a lot of folks, uh, they purchase an investment property, and they decide it's not really for them. And what they like to do, they try to get a realtor to simply list it for you know a price that is going to cover what they paid as well as all the new additional selling and closing costs. Uh, it doesn't always work that way, right? Just because you now have to pay a 7% commission to your agent and you have to pay closing costs or this or that, that doesn't mean the property is now just worth that much more than you paid for it, right? It's really not. So the fact that it's been on the market for 120 days, I think is something that's going to help you because eventually that investor, he's just going to realize, okay, it's not really worth it and I want to sell, so I'm going to have to take a little bit of a loss because in all reality, it's really worth what you paid, man. That's why you paid 170 something last year or in 2018 rather, right? Two years ago now at this point. That's why you paid what you paid because that's what it's worth, bro. That's what it's worth, dog. This is worth about $170,000. If Shindog, you pick this thing up at $170,000, what are the returns going to look like? Repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, capex. We're gonna budget 103 for all those. Taxes, 238. Insurance, 100 bucks. Just so everybody out there is watching. I don't care where you're buying rental properties. Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh. Doesn't matter to me. Click the show notes below. We own a farmer's franchise, and we will be able to take whatever you're paying. Let us quote you, and we could probably reduce your rental property premiums because all we do is pitch these properties to the various insurance providers. We're appointed through Farmers. We have the Farmers franchise, but we also can shoot it off to other third-party small insurers that you've probably never heard of. That's all we do, guys. We work for landlords. Insurance for landlords by landlords. Let us help you make a little bit more coin on your rental portfolio. Back to this one, though. Water sewer should be paying about 300 bones a month. Lawn care 44, property management 206. Going back to the lawn care, right? That's cool. That's why I like uh, quads, man. You take a duplex. Well, guess what? That duplex is going to cost you on average 44 bucks a month for us to go in and cut your grass, right? That's two tenants. You got two duplexes. You got two yards. That means you're paying us on average 88 bucks a month to go in and cut your grass. So that's why I love quads. You get the economies of scale, right? You get four rental income checks, but you only got one yard to cut. These are reasons why I love quads and why they're, you know, so few and far between. So running those numbers, right, should be bringing in 2065 a month. You should, on average, expect to spend 1197 meaning you're going to bring, bring home an NOI, on average, 868 per month or 10,416 per year. You want to finance because that's what you got to do, man. That's the name of the game. That's why we're going to quads. That would mean 
You only need to put $42,500 into this deal. You'd have a small mortgage payment, six forty-six dollars a month. You'd be bringing home after paying off that mortgage payment, two twenty-two dollars a month, which is going to pencil out to a 6.3% cash-on-cash return. That doesn't sound very impressive, but here's the other thing, too, that's really nice. This particular property, there's more meat on the bone. These rents are actually low. Now, something I want to bring your attention to why we look at the photos. I'm just going to run the photos up on the TV monitor for you, but something I want to bring your attention to that she said in her listing. She said it's right near the Detroit Shoreway, which is an up-and-coming area. She's absolutely correct. The Detroit Shoreway is an incredibly nice area, but where this property is, we need to be realistic. I need to give you the complete picture this is not what I would consider a nice and up-and-coming area. This property right here, this property right here, this is pretty much D-class property, right? You're, you're very, very close to nice areas. So it's, it's, it's close, right? It's close to getting up into that sea. It's not like there's nothing going on here. She's right that, you know, there's nice stuff happening in this area. You might see some changes. But right now, you need to understand, this is very much a D-class property. You're going to deal with D-class tenants. But what I think you should do, and it goes hand in hand with in increasing the rents, right? I believe the proper move for this property is as these tenants filter themselves out, because they always do, right? This is D-class multifamily investing. These folks ain't going to live here forever, Shindog. Ain't nobody wants to live in Shindog's quad in a D-class neighborhood for the rest of their lives. That's not their childhood dream. But when we put in new tenants, we want to go with the Section 8 program. We should be able to get 650 minimum for each of the units. If we did that, we go Section 8, 8, we're reducing your risk that's associated with the lower quality neighborhood. And B, we're increasing those rents. We can get the monthly rent all the way up to $2,600 a month, which is an additional $535 a month in cash flow. And that's going right into your pocket, right? We don't really have to increase our expenses is too much to collect that additional rent the money i've had you budget the 103 for the repairs and maintenance the vacancy and non-payment the capital expenditures just because we're pulling in more rent more rent these are still the same units and as a matter of fact you might need to budget a little bit less because you know we're going to have fewer turnovers now when we bring in the section 8 folks because the government's paying their rent they don't have to do much we collect rent much more uh, frequently, right, our evictions on Section 8 tenants are way, 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 way down compared to low-quality, low-class, high-risk neighborhood cash-paying tenants, right? Those are the majority of the tenants we're evicting in these rougher neighborhoods and their cash-paying tenants. But when the government comes in and guarantees that rent money, we're not really evicting them all, too, all that much because, you know, what's there to not pay, right? The government's paying it. So because the money that's coming in currently is not that great. It doesn't look that good. It's a 6.3% cash on cash return. That's what it's projecting right now in a rough neighborhood. Okay. Because of that, because the fact that the guy's an LA investor who clearly tried his hand at this higher risk property and apparently doesn't like it because he already wants out and he's trying to just tack on the costs to what he paid for it. I think we stand a good chance at getting you this property for $170,000. No guarantees, but I think that is the appropriate bidding strategy. We might even want to come in just a little bit lower. We might want to start things off at $165,000 and see where go see if we can garner some type of counter you know 120 days right 120 days on the market i bet i sold a lot of real estate right i've sold over 150 million dollars worth of rental real estate and i'll tell you a seller is often <clears throat> very different they feel very different about the price they need to get for their property 120 days after they've been testing that market you know at the very beginning <clears throat> when they list it they might be like 170 no way absolutely no way i'm taking 170 but 120 days removed from that where they see that hey dude it's the the, the big offer just ain't coming they've been beaten down by the market you'd be surprised how much they'll come off their original number so that is why I think this one might work for you, Shindog. Now, what I want to do, I want to take you guys to a quick word uh, from Ohio Cashville. They're the sponsor of today's show. Then, Shindog, we're going to get into the second property I've got for you. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Remora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. 
we offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. All right, Shindog, welcome back. So if you have not noticed, the theme of today's show is A, finding you these quads or these triplexes, number one, and number two, the fact that they are hard to find. The next property I've got for you, 3008 Montclair Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Price has just been reduced to 79900 This is a duplex that could, that's, it's currently being operated as a duplex, but we've got room to make this a triplex. And I've actually already analyzed this property for another client of mine. Dude out of Florida. He actually used to live here in Cleveland. His name is Amato. Solid dude. He's now down in Tampa, Florida, and him and I looked at this property. I did a whole show on the property for him, and after that show, he decided he wanted to switch gears, and he's going into something a little bit less risky. He He's more so looking to B-class single family, so that's where him and I have gone now. So this one is of no more interest to him. And since you, my friend, you know, you and I, we've been, we've been doing videos, we've been going back and forth, and the more you and I get into this together, the more we realize how you really just want that three and four unit property so you can stretch those funds. So I think that this particular property could make some sense for you because there's some serious hidden value. So I'm going to take you to that footage now. This is 3008 Montclair Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. And this bad boy is listed for $89,900. And it has been on the market for 212 days. And that, my friend, is the hidden value. That's why I chose this. I think this property has got a lot of good stuff going on that everybody else is missing out on. Quickly, I just want to show you the pictures. And th don't get shocked, bro. They they aren't going to be hot. It's not going to look good. But that's why everybody else has looked at this listing for over 200 days and nobody wants it. By the way, it's listed by a company called Town West Realty. All right, so just a traditional old Brooklyn duplex right here. <clears throat> now, there's a couple clues in this particular picture uh, that tell us really good stuff and they tell us really bad stuff. What I think most people see when they see this particular picture is they see like a ghetto fabulous. Let me make this a little smaller. It's a little blurry. This is right off the MLS, guys, so I'm not the one who took these photos, so don't uh, crush me if they look blurry when you blow them up. Not my fault. I don't have any control over that. But what is so awesome about this, what I see here, I see, well, what, what everyone else sees, actually, is they see this tarp. They see this shitty-ass driveway with weeds growing up in it. They see this thing. I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe it's a mattress. <laughs> I don't know, but it's fucking shitty, right? Uh, you got garbage everywhere, right? They see a ghetto, fabulous-looking slum, dude. It looks crappy. It looks crummy. That photo is like, ugh. I don't really like that. I don't want to deal with people that live like that. They're living like savages, right? Y'all watch the Tennis from Hell show. I talk about savages all the damn time. But that's not what I see, dude. I see money. I see a ton of money in this picture. Why? Because of this stair set right here, dude. All right? This thing right here is dollar signs for you. That's why this is a hidden deal. That's why this deal... Is, is actually going to be good. Now, it's currently being operated as a duplex, okay? And we got two tenants. One tenant is paying 500 a month. The other tenant is paying 600 a month. So they're bringing in $1,100 a month out of this property, 13200 a year. Just cruising through the rest of the photos, right? It looks shitty on the outside. Just, you know, this bathroom, nothing good. I even see, like, some, you know, a little bit of, like, mold you get when people don't clean their shower regularly. So I'm sure these tenants are not that awesome. The inside, nothing fancy, right? It's being ran like a 
you know, like a low-income rental property, right? They painted everything all one color here, right? You don't even see a different color between the wall and the trim, and they got some crummy carpet here as opposed to refinishing the beautiful hardwoods, right? That's just a sign that the, the particular owner, you know, he's not trying to spend a lot of money on this particular property, right? Um, but these are all things that are going to help you uh, because I think there's some serious hidden value here, right? <clears throat> Okay, nice, nice fireplace. It is capped, which is good for liability purposes. You see this right here. This is this is it being capped. You don't want to allow your tenants to actually be able to have active fireplaces in your rental properties, folks. That is a, a major insurance liability. So you definitely want to cap all those, right? So those are the photos. And with the price point and the low rents and the fact that it all looks savage, looks gross, looks shitty, I think that's why people are passing on. That's why it's been on the market for 212 days. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. If you run the numbers, right, doing our normal estimates, which I'm sure you're familiar with the model, I'm sure you've probably watched a ton of these MLS analysis shows. You said you've been watching the content, so uh, I'll cruise through this quickly. Right, 1100 comes in. We're estimating 55 for the repairs, maintenance, uh, vacancy, non payment, capex, taxes. They're going to be 166 a month. Insurance, if everybody else who's watching doesn't know, we will be able to handle your insurance for you. This property should only be about 80 bucks a month to uh, insure, and we do insurance in many states. So click in the show notes below if you'd like to lower your rental property insurance on any of your rentals uh, across the United States. Water sewer, you as landlord got to pay. That's going to be 150. Lawn care, we we cut about 16 to 18 times a year here in the Cleveland market, so it averages out to 44 bucks a month. PM 110. So on average, you're bringing in 1100. You should on average spend 715. Now that doesn't mean that it's going to happen every month. You're going to have periods where things are running well, and then you're going to have periods where things are running not so well, right? It's pre pretty clear, right, that these these folks living here are not super high quality folks, right? Like, you know, that backyard was pretty crummy. They're just throwing crap everywhere. It didn't look too hot. So that's part of C-class investing. You're going to deal uh, with difficult folks, right? Uh, you're going to have tenants that are not necessarily ideal. We may have that. We may not. Uh, the listing agent's notes were that they're both uh, on month to month, but they're relatively difficult to deal with. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily the tenant's fault or if that's the fault of how the listing agent goes about selling the property. I haven't heard of this company before, so I've never done business with them. But if I haven't heard of them before, that means they're not selling a lot of rental properties in Cleveland because I am the number one seller of rentals. So, you know, if you're doing a decent amount of rental business in Cleveland, I know about it. Uh, they're, you know, providing limited pictures and then they're having people do showings. When we sell properties on our show, the Investment Properties for Sales show, we don't do showings. We do one video tour, and we make people bid off of the uh, the video, right? Because you can't just keep bothering these tenants, man. They get pissed off. You know how many looky-loos and tire kickers there are in this business just wasting everybody's time? That's why we do the video tour. We're all about transparency, but we give you the video tour. Then you got to make your offer contingent on inspection. I want people to bring an inspector in there. None of this like, oh, yeah. Uh, contingent on walkthrough. No, man, screw that. If you're going to have our staff go in there and disrupt these tenants' lives, I want a commitment out of you that you are ready, willing, and able to buy that property. So we will give you the video tour so you can see exactly what you're getting. And then after that, when somebody actually does bother those tenants, I want it under contract. I want to have seen your proof of funds. I want to know that you got earnest money coming. And more importantly, I want to know that you're willing to spend five, six hundred, uh, three, three, four, five, six hundred bucks, depending on the size of the of the particular property. I want to know you're willing to spend that to hire a home inspector to get in there, right? I don't want this stuff where guys just walk in there and yeah, you know what? I'm not really feeling. It. I don't want to buy it. 
We're not doing that 100 times to bother tenants. So I don't know if that's what this particular realtor is doing. I don't know if that's why he's running into issues with his tenants or if the tenants are just complete fucking maniacs. Uh, both are plausible, right? It could even probably be a, a combination of both. But th that's my thoughts on how that works. And, you know, because of the success of Holton Wise TV and that show, The Investment Properties for Sale Show, that's why we are the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland because it's just far more efficient, right? So... <clears throat> With that said, though, right, they could still be difficult, so you could still run into some issues. Um, you know, everything could be cool, and then, boom, we got to evict these tenants, and then you got, you know, three, $4,000 turnover costs, things of that nature. So on average, you should spend seven fifteen, but it's not going to be like uh, the clockwork. It's going to be some good months, and then some rough months, and then some good months. That leaves you with an NOI of three eighty five, or 4612 a year. Uh, that would just be a, a small cap, a 5.1 cap, and then you're financing this. So that would require you to put down 22475 You get a small mortgage, 67425 Your mortgage would be 341 So you should expect to clear 4092 a year on average. That is a net cash flow after mortgage of 44 bucks a month or 500 Twenty dollars a year on average, which is a cash on cash return of two point three percent. Two point three percent, a motto for a property that we may or may not have some pretty rough tenants in there. And I'm telling you, that's a good thing. That is awesome. That is what I love about this property. That's why this thing has been on the market for so long at eighty nine nine. That's why nobody wants it. This picture right here that scares everybody is why I like this deal. The fact that these numbers are crummy is why I like this deal. All right, Shindog, that's what I've got for you today. We got the four unit where we have to try really hard to get that price down. Or we got this other property that's got some hidden value. We've got some things we can do to change things around that I think other folks are not seeing. You let us know if one or both of these properties is going to work for you. And, of course, you know the drill, but so everybody else is aware, after you buy one of these shows with us, you buy one of these analysis products, you get access to me and my personal team of assistants. So Shindug, again, already knows, but anybody else who doesn't know, at this point of the game, what you need to do is reply to the video by sending us an email to sales at holtonwise.com, letting us know which property you'd like to make an offer on, and we will get in there and try to negotiate on your behalf, try to get you the very best pricing. We will schedule your inspections, get those coordinated third-party home inspectors. We got referrals, but anyone that you want to inspect it is totally fine with us because we are all about transparency here. I want to make sure you guys know exactly what you're buying. So go ahead and find your own inspectors. Bring them in. Whoever you trust is who you need to have in this property on your behalf. And you want a person who doesn't make money if they get paid, if the property sells, right? You want a person who gets paid regardless if the deal goes through or not. So they can look at it in a completely unbiased fashion, right? You want their interest at heart. They, you want them to have your interest at heart and nothing else. And then, of course, you know, you get financed, you get the bank coming in, you get the appraisal, so that's going to help make sure you don't overpay. We'll coordinate that for you as well. And if you don't have lenders to get that bank appraiser in there, we've got an entire list of lenders who write loans nationwide. So all of that information, you get that by sending us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Shindog, let me know what you want to do. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied.
Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.